some people should never do DIY projects. So let me show you the kitchen. So at the end of October, I was standing in this kitchen at the stove that used to be here, and I was cooking and noticed water coming up through the tile floor that used to be down here. Now generally, water should not be coming up through the floor. It took me a little bit to figure out why there was water coming up through the floor. I assumed a pipe had broken, something catastrophic had happened because there was no water and then there was water. So what had happened was the dishwasher had a broken water supply line. So let me show you the floor and show you why there was water coming up through the tile when it was just a dishwasher leaking. Let's study the sediment layers of this floor. This house is like a 1940s house originally. So this is the old subfloor. And then there was this probably really nice at one time hardwood floor. And then on top of that is some like hardy backer and then some tile. All of the cabinets were sitting down on top of the hardwood floor that used to be here. And then the tile was added afterwards. This is where the dishwasher used to be. There was an opening for the dishwasher. So when whoever did the tile put the hardy backboard underneath this opening and set the dishwasher in there. But there wasn't enough room between the floor and the top of the cabinet that used to be here for the dishwasher to fit. So they put the hardy backer board in. There wasn't enough room for there to be tile in there and still fit the dishwasher. So they put the dishwasher in and then tiled in front of it. So you couldn't get the dishwasher out because it was tiled in. That meant that when the dishwasher leaked, the water didn't just run onto the tile and onto the kitchen floor where I could see it. The water ran into the wall, into the floor, underneath the tile, and everywhere else. I also couldn't get the dishwasher out to find the leak without pulling up tiles. Now I'm assuming that the floors in here were a do-it-yourself project because I can't imagine that that was professionally done. Uh, I don't know, any floor professionals out there put tile that way? That doesn't seem like a professional thing. There are a lot of little DIY projects around this house that just sort of seem that way, like somebody put them in and it kind of works, but they didn't really know how to do it. Just check out this light fixture. Take a look at the electrical outlet for the dishwasher. Here's the outlet that the dishwasher was plugged into. And let's just see where it gets power. It runs up here, into the wall, over here, down. Oh, and what's this plug sticking out here that says to dishwasher? Is that normal? I don't really install a lot of dishwashers or do a lot of electrical, like really any at all. So, but I'm pretty sure there's like codes and things, right? The good news is our homeowner's insurance did cover this. So it's taking forever, but we will be getting our kitchen fixed. We're going to update this kitchen a little bit, make it a little more appealing. Uh, so we'll be making some changes while we are replacing and fixing everything. I hope that you guys have fun doing projects, but please make sure you know what you're doing. It's fun to go out and mess around with little projects in the garage, but if you're trying to fix your plumbing or your house or you're putting in appliances, make sure you know what you're doing. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoy this. Have fun doing projects and making things, and I will see you next time.